All right, so we're gonna rem remove and replace the radius arm bushings, which are these right here on this E351, 351 uh, Ford camper van or RV. So as you can see, this is a full size RV. Um, it's not a super easy job. You definitely wanna grease everything up and getting it back together is a little tricky but we're going to go through that right now and save yourself uh, 700 dollars or so so the first thing i'm going to do is remove these three bolts which i'm about to finish up and then i'm going to remove this bolt right here i don't know if you can see that see that bolt right there that's going to come off i'm going to lower this um sorry i'm going to yeah and then i'm going to lower this whole piece pull it all off you may need to use a knife to cut it like i did on the last one cut it all out rip off all this old junk you got your new kit that you just bought from the store and we're going to reassemble it just don't forget the order that it comes off in um, take a picture of it if you need to so you don't forget the order or assemble the parts on the ground um, in the same order you took them off and this is the easier way to do it um, a lot of videos you'll see everyone depending on what if you don't have actual bolts here if you have rivets then you either got to take the rivets out which is really difficult or you got to take the suspension and the wheel and everything off but right now we don't have to do that so this is definitely the easier way so pray that you only have bolts to deal with if not watch somebody else's video and so these the wear and tear you see here this is 42 years of basically sitting around this vehicle has 77,000 miles on it um but most of the time things deteriorate like this just from sitting around for 42 years and never being changed so that's why you want to make sure you grease up all your nuts with wd-40 or quick lube or something like that so that you don't uh, bust a nut so we'll keep going on this and we'll bring you right back so you might find that this uh is really stuck depending on how uh, what the what the style of bushings were before the really old style um the rear bushing had a longer inner bushing that would come out the front side whereas you'll see the new style there's two of these and they meet halfway whereas before it would have been uh, a really long one like this and so it's been in there so long sometimes they can get stuck so one thing I found is you can uh, put a strap on like this find a hole or a spot somewhere somewhere strong on the frame that you can hook to and then we're just gonna slowly ratchet this off and hope that it comes off half easily. And then what I did last time, cause it didn't, is uh, I took my knife and basically cut all the way around this bushing so that eventually, eventually it just popped right off. So I'm gonna spend a couple minutes just cutting this off. Okay. All right, so you cut all the way around here with the knife to the point I've noticed that uh, you may have to hammer this. So just hammer it a few times to loosen it up and then you should be able to twist this rubber, which is gonna just basically guarantee that you're completely severed from this piece of rubber. And then you're gonna wiggle and pull and do whatever the hell you can to get this thing off. It may take a minute. This one was a little harder because there's some brake lines on this upper side that you probably can't see. But uh, so you just got to be careful with those. All right, now I'm gonna hit it with the hammer again. Is it moving it? Mm -hmm. Brake lines. Got it. This one's a little harder than the last one, to be honest. Like almost there. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's 
So this is what I severed. So now this should look at the rust and rubber in here. So I'm gonna we'll get to that. Twisting things helps, I've noticed. This is the first thing I've ever done mechanically on a vehicle by myself or close to by myself. I just got, we got sick of paying people to do this shit. See, look at the rust on there. So this was a $700 job or $350 for one side and $350 for the other side. So what you just saw me do costs about $150. And now, what I'm going to do next is going to cost another $150. So this, like I said, this was connected to that uh, other bushing right here. I cut it off. So this is old technology, like I said. So that pops out. So that would have been attached to there. Old technology. Now you'll see the new stuff. They're going to meet up in the middle rather than being extra long like this, which was a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna clean this up real quick, and then uh, it pretty much gets cleaned up as you hammer on the new, the new washer here. So I'm gonna hammer a new one on and put this thing back together. That's how easy it is. All right, so I just put the uh, some WD-40 on there. <laughs> just to lube it up a bit and then uh, I just put a, a wrench on the end of this that fits and then I whacked it a few times to get it to where it's at and now I'm gonna whack it a few more times like this Ow. without hitting your finger and eventually I'm gonna get to where the metal gets wider I ran into this last time so now I need a, a bigger wrench All right, so I pounded that on with a bigger wrench, and now I'm gonna get this back on. So I'm gonna try to line this up, get it past these brake lines again. This is gonna be a tough one, I think, and then they'll, like I said, then the last side because of these brake lines. All right, so just a tip to get um, this half of the small rubber halfway through this hole, um, because if you try to put the other rubber on and all this, it's not gonna fit. You're not gonna be able to turn to turn it. But, um, so I just throw the washer back on without the, without the bushing, and then I'm just gonna tighten this nut up. If you're having trouble getting this uh, bushing against there, like if you can't hammer it, if you're having trouble, um, what you can do is what I just showed you, and it'll squeeze it over enough, hopefully, that uh, then you can put your second bushing on and everything will fit, and then you can tighten the nut to suck it all over rather than uh, killing yourself trying to hammer it on. So just to recap, Basically, once you've pounded it on, if you have any trouble, you can try something like this, a C-clamp, to pull from here to somewhere else on the vehicle, depending on what vehicle you're using, and slowly suck it over so that it's really tight on this side, really tight, tight, tight in there, and then on this side, you'll come through again with your, uh, with your bolt, uh, your, yeah, whatever it's called, <laughs> wrench. Put it on the rubber part and just and hammer at the rubber until the rubber goes in far enough that you can get the washer and the nut. And once you're done that, you're on fire. Then it's just a matter of getting the last three bolts back in and we're done. All right, so it can be a, a tough job putting these three bolts on. Um, basically the things you want to try along the way 
it is uh, lifting up the, f the the tire with the uh, by putting a jack right in this area, somewhere in here to lift. It's I think they call this a leaf or something like that, but around the suspension, which will help lift the tire up, which will help move this part around. So you're gonna try to line up these three holes is the toughest part. Uh, you may have to put a jack here as well, which will help. But if you're finding it needs to go forward or backwards, then you're gonna need to lift the front tire and push or pull it backwards. Uh, we use like ratchet straps and then you want to get get these lined up as much as you can on this side put them in and then um, keep messing with the alignment but keep hammering what I did was hammer them in which pushed this part of the plate out because they weren't lining up perfectly so it was forcing the plate to kind of bend but once now you have tension on it so all you got to do is hammer in the right direction and then the hole will eventually line up and pop in because it's under so much tension and then uh, tighten those up. You might have nuts on the other side. If, if, if so, you gotta put a wrench on there. Tighten these up, tighten this up, and we're good to go. It was not an easy process, but simple enough if you knew what you were doing. But this is my first mechanic project, so it would be nice to have a lift and some special tools, but save 700 bucks in probably six hours, mm -hmm. maybe seven hours total of actual work and uh, they said it would take four hours I think they could do it faster than that honestly but they like to make money so save yourself 700 bucks and uh, give it a try yourself